Hey everybody, how are we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. I just got up, my eyes are all droopy and I'm tired still. We gotta leave. Yep. So uh, we're packing up. I got all the inside done. Dion's got all the hoses and everything else unhooked. All we have to do is unhook the uh, electric. Yes. And then uh, we're gonna hook up the camper now. I've got uh, all the inside done. Uh, basically what we do is we just go out and we unplug everything and roll it back up and put it where it belongs. Yep. Uh, we're going to go down to Bishop, California today, and that's about a two and a half hour drive normally. So it's probably going to take us about five hours. It's only 200 miles away, but it, it'll take us probably about four or five hours to get over there, to get down there. Uh, we have to go up into the mountains again. Um, I think it's pretty much a gradual. It's not like we did before going up those scary ass no, cliffs and stuff. No, <laughs> it's just gradual going up. And then, uh, then you go down. So Bishop is, like I said, uh, what two and three hours away. Yeah. So we should be there no later than about three. So right now it's 9:30. Um, by the time we get everything hooked up and everything, and get out of here and get gas, it'll be about 10:15, 10:30, and uh, we'll be on the road. So uh, check us out. See what kind of crap we get into today. <laughs> hopefully that hopefully the truck makes it. Um, it's been. Yeah. It's been sickly and then the brakes and we had to replace the front brakes and then the one on this I don't know which one it is, but one of them everything was sh t -t 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 when you stop kind of shuddering Is that what they call it? Yeah, so I Don't know and then it stopped doing that. So maybe it set itself. We don't know We're just gonna get on the road and see <laughs> we really thought we were gonna be able to stay one more day here and leave tomorrow but since there's a bike rally here called shaken something yeah <laughs> shaken nevada or shaken something or other but yeah there's a crap load of bikes here like would be in uh, sturgis. South, yeah, in sturgis and that's all over reno and virginia city we went up there and we couldn't even get out because there was so many cars and so many people up there we just said you know let's just drive through and that's about it yeah <laughs> so, it was a cool town it's a cool town um as a kid i spent some time up there and it's a tourist trap you know they've got sarsaparilla and now I'm sure they have beers and stuff, oh, but back then they had sarsaparilla at the bar, and I don't know, it was just kind of hokey. So, <laughs> all right, guys, follow us, and uh, we're next stop. Hopefully, is going to be Bishop. So keep your fingers crossed. So before we go, we always check our lights. I've got the running lights on. You can barely see that. That's those are on. That's good. We got our flashers working. As long as the flashers working, I know the turn signals are working. Looks good. All right, all the running lights back here look good. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go get gas first. We're gonna stop off at this gas station and spend a whole lot of money on gas. It's like uh, $4 and like 80 cents a gallon, but we gotta do it. Camper after, this is what it looks like just before we go. You can see where the back end's still down even though we've got the uh, the front end's way up. So I'm like this. So every bump I hit, the front end comes up a little bit. We'll be okay. Just drive slow. All right. We're getting on the road now. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, man. Here we go. Well, next stop is the uh, Chevron gas station. Straight out so we don't hit anything. Bye everybody, have a good time. Yep. Met a lot of nice people here um, for the bike rally. Some super nice people. This area today, tomorrow, all the way through Sunday is gonna be just loaded with bikes. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll meet you at the gas station. We'll fill up and we're taking off after that.
see where all the fire damage is down here. This is where it actually caught hold. It came over the line, I think this was just uh, a week ago. We still have crews out, they're still uh, trying to fix everything and make sure the power lines are good still. people's houses and everything. Pretty bad. Very sad. Get a little windy down here. You can see where the Caldor fire, or one of the fires, I don't know which one it is, but you can see smoke coming up over those mountains on that side. Uh, when we, like I said before, when we uh, put in the GPS, it says the Caldor fires and there's going to be fires around us, so be aware of that. Um, but I, I, I think the, the Dixie fire is one of them, and it's pretty much contained. The Caldor fire, they're still letting it burn out. Uh, the wind has died down today, it was kind of up yesterday, so they're trying to put it down. They said by by the end of the month, which is probably another week, um, that the fire will be out completely. So I don't think we have anything to worry about, but we just need to be uh, mindful that it's out there, so. All right, I'm gonna keep on driving, man. We're about 7,000 feet. We are uh, still on 395. We're about an hour and a half away from uh, where we're going to go camp out in Bishop. So it's not too far away. Make it pretty good time.
We're making some pretty good time. Uh, we're right now at a rest stop. We are in Mammoth Lakes, or on the outside of Mammoth Lakes on 395 side. We have about 43 miles to go, so we'll be there within the hour. And uh, we're doing pretty good time, actually. Uh, the road has been pretty well going uphill, and this thing, poor thing's down into second gear. I've got it revved up to um, 4,000 RPMs, and, or 40,000 RPMs, and it's like, I don't know. It, it's, get, it's getting us there. How's that? So, all right, guys, we are going. Uh, more people are coming in this rest area. Let's get them a place to park for a few minutes and use the facilities, and we're going to get on the road. All right, guys, follow us. More road construction. We just came out of a, uh, a rest area. Uh, we got ate my little chicken tenders that I had. Went to the restroom. Yep. Looks like they're picking up stuff and uh, moving on. All right, guys, here we go. 43 miles left, we should be there in just a few minutes. You know, I do this every time. We pull into the RV park where we're gonna stay at. I don't have the cameras on, so you didn't see that we just pulled into this park. It's called Highland and it's in Bishop, and check this out. This is a nice park. Everything's paved, they have dirt, which is great. Um, awesome, awesome little campground. And we told them we we're work campers, and she said, hey, we need some people next year. So everything looks good. I'm gonna just unplug this right now, because we forgot to last time. Yep, I think this would be good. We got our water right there, got our sewer here, that should reach, yep, alright, 